that might be their one uh, path to breakthrough through your gentleness through mm -hmm. your kindness by you embracing them or engaging them for just a short span of time that may stick with them for the rest of their life mm -hmm. and that's a gift that only you may have because other people are not willing to be cultivated in that we want to be strong we want to be tough we want to be um, just rigid and you, just you can you can be charm and soft and still clean up better than you can be bounty strong you can be oh I was just thinking stop <laughs> I literally was y'all I was literally thinking like oh stop that's the whole Amen, Jesus. Oh, get out my mind. Get out. Get out. I mean, it's got, get out. But no, seriously, you can literally, God allows us to be bounty strong. Yes. Or we absorb. Mm. He's weird. equipped us yeah. to handle mess when you walk with him and you talk with him. Yes. And you digest his word. That's how you're able to absorb. And I don't mean take it in and carry it. But you're able to absorb someone else's mess that they don't know how to clean up. Yes. Amen. And the thing that I love about it is the one thing you may have capacity to absorb other people's burdens and their issues and their things. And you may be anointed to help them clean up. Uh -huh. However, Ever. their on. mess uh -huh. does not become a part of mm -hmm. your makeup. Nope. Ah, take it. You see, your mess, mess does not does become, become a part, a part of, of your, your makeup. makeup. Because the same way that we can use bounty and we can use those strong paper towels for more than one instance, okay, we can those. wring them out. Yep, and reuse. And reuse them. So whatever dirt, whatever filth, mm. whatever um, things that are trying to pollute you or corrupt you because it's just on you, mm -hmm. it is not defiling you and who mm -mm. you are. Mm -mm. Because that paper towel is still strong and it can still handle. It's been some things. It ain't cleaned up some messes. It has. It, it has been wrung out. It has history. And it's not. And it's. My daddy, my daddy. <laughs> my daddy, my daddy. Your baby. Your baby is talking. Listen. Yeah, that's that was on time. It sure was. Y'all, thank you for being here. For the rest of eternity, you guys. That's crazy. But it's. But he's telling us. We, you see him? Yo. <laughs> That's insane. How soon we saw to come on at the right time? My like, daddy, my, my daddy. daddy has equipped me. He has equipped us. Like, for everything that you need, everything you feel like you're not equipped for, like, he's given it to you. He's made you this way. Like, you should rejoice in that. You should rejoice in your weakness. Rejoice in your softness. Because God can make you firm. We are sons and daughters of the most high God. I've been saying this for the past month. But being his child, being his child means that he has accepted us. Yes. And that we can rejoice mm. in his peculiar care and protection. It's peculiar, y'all, and I'm okay with it. Wow. Say it one more time. We are acceptable to him. That means he has looked at our entire span of life from when we were formless to when we shall become formless again. He has looked at all of it, all of it, and said, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I like it. I'm going to sign on the dotted line. I sign. Where do I sign? Where do I sign? And then, because he is called us his own we can rejoice what does rejoice mean man it means you can celebrate you can praise a party we can rejoice in his peculiar care in his peculiar care and protection that's so beautiful and even as you were talking it's like I, there's an analogy that's come to me and it's just like even like when we see those new parents in the hospital and they say your baby was diagnosed with such and such and such and such and such and such and we may have to keep them a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. That does not stop them from signing the birth certificate. No. That does not stop their pursuit of trying to home. bring them back home. Mm -hmm. And God, knowing their defects, knowing what issues they may struggle with, yeah. being diagnosed with whatever the problem may be, they still choose to love this child that they've created and that God has given them. And in the same manner, God still sees all that could be potentially wrong with us and what problems may develop in our lives. But he still, to Candace's point, signs our birth certificate. <laughs> He's still adamant about bringing you home. Mm -hmm. He's still adamant about raising you up, that you may have complications. You may experience hardships. Life may be harder for you because it's set up differently for you, but it's not a waste of time. Like there is purpose in it. There's longevity in it that God is with you and God is going to continue to mature you and raise you and make sure that you have what you need and that he's actually with you he's, he's not working shepherd. against you because he's a shepherd and a father and a father and what father wants to see their child suffer and to suffer alone from them yeah y'all 
you know how people say, oh, you were adopted. And, so, and a lot of times in society, in the world, yeah. that can have negative connotation. Well, the world says, oh, your parents didn't want you. Right. So they put you up for adoption. But we as Christians, right, we know, oh, I'm honored to be adopted. Yes. I'm honored. You know why? Because adoption is intentional. Yes. I mean, I, I didn't happen by a uh, one night stand. I didn't happen by a mistake. I didn't happen by, oh, we just decided, maybe we want to have a baby. Maybe we have a baby. Right, right. Yeah. It wasn't. Accidental. He intentionally right. chose me. Right. The he best parent. The he, best parent the best possible. Parent. Like, I was a choice by God. Right. And I love, one thing I love about the Lord is, like, it's not, he's not one of those people that are trying to cheat the system and get more money. Because what is money to him? Please. You know, like he's rich, he's abundant, he's good, and he wants to share his goodness. And that's the thing that we don't understand. Like, God is so good, and he has so much goodness that he wants to share. Like, y'all know y'all been in a situation in life where you want to share the goodness with somebody else. You're yeah. like, I'm so blessed, I feel so I full, like, I, I, need to, yeah. I need to pour. I need to pour into someone or share with someone, and you got to do that with the Lord and let him just lead you in it. And God wants to do that with you. Like, God is so full of goodness that he cares about departing said goodness into us yeah. and making sure that we reflect him at Remember, the end of the day. it's not for you because it's a gift that keeps giving. It don't stop giving. Yes. Because the overflow is for you and then for somebody else that's near you, yes. attached to you. And then for somebody that's attached to them. Yeah. For somebody that's attached to them. Yes. It's like, it's like the jar. The oil never stops flowing. It keeps flowing. It keeps flowing. Because there's someone else that needs it. So yeah. it's going to keep going. And as long as you keep pouring... It's gonna keep growing and it's stretching. Gonna, exactly. And, as long and as you doing. keep presenting more empty vessels, you are gonna always have oil. And you gonna always have if more you, than enough. So that means empty yourself out, so that you can get more and then some. Not for you, but for somebody else that needs it. And see, that's the word because some people are so selfish; they don't want to pour out. Don't bury your talent, fool. Don't bury that. It's an investment. Investment something to grow. Mm -hmm. Don't bury it. And make profit. Because you're going to only have one jar of oil. Eventually, that's going to run out. Mm -hmm. Because you done put the cap on it and hid it somewhere right. for a rainy day. But God, there is no rainy day. He always has an abundance of resources for us. Right. And there's so Who's much that, that God has deposited. <laughs> and you know it's good. There's so much God has deposited in you that other people need. And you don't see it. And you may not. You may be wondering, like, why am I not experiencing growth in just in my life in general? And it could be, be non-sin related. Yeah. It could be because you're not willing to be submissive and to give and pour into other people and to invest because yeah. the bible also says don't grow weary and well doing we have to um we have to sow so we can reap and oftentimes you have to give it to receive it that part. so it may not be you might be like i need i need money myself i don't have it to give give and let god take care of you or give and he will come back to you i'm gonna tell y'all the truth about that though I'm going on, y'all pray for your girl. I don't know when you, if you see this afterwards, I'm going to South Africa. Yes. South Africa. South Africa. <laughs> South Africa. South Africa. And, you know, we, we fundraise and we do these things for this. And it's like, you feel awkward. But every time I go on a mission trip, I'm a missionary, y'all. I go on a mission trip. Go ye the therefore. I love it. Send me, I go. Send me, I go. She'll go. I go. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I always pray that God gives me more than I need not for me because there's somebody who might be struggling that's not saying it and raising the funds and they need help yeah. and every time it gets to it and I'm like oh Jesus I'm not hey, we need how much oh God okay Ooh. he's like why you why you keep stunting on me every time you ask me because I don't ask for myself mm, yeah you ask for other people he gives me more than I need and he's done it again y'all he did it again but I said that to say the person that blessed me one of the people that blessed me she said, you know, I got an unexpected check in the mail. I was like, what is this? She's like, and she's like, after I blessed you, I got this check in the mail. He will do it. He will do it. And it will be something you don't even know why. Why? She's like, what is this? She's like, why Why am I? Don't ask why. Just say thank you. Yeah, just say thank you. Just say, that was just an example of when you, truly, when you do give, it, it multiplies. Right. And I'm going to say this, too, as just a word of caution. And stop speaking that you're broke or that you're poor. Yeah. You are a, you are a rich person in a poor situation. Mm -hmm. Because everything that you need, God already knows what you need and God will provide it for you. Absolutely. That may require you to do some work and partner with him. Maybe you got to get a job. Maybe you need to talk to the right people. Maybe there's funds available for you. You may have to do your due diligence. You know what I'm saying? But stop declaring over yourself that you're broke or you're this or you're that. Like, stop speaking those curses over you 
and just break we those off. We renounce them in Jesus' name. Yeah, we renounce them in Jesus', renounce name. Them in Jesus name. And we ask that God, Lord, we just pray for this person, Lord, that you would forgive them for yeah. hardening their heart, forgive yes, them Lord. for not stewarding their finances well. We pray, God, that you would Let's just forgive God. them for just um, blowing all their money on the wrong things mm -hmm. and not even giving any of it to you or honoring you with any of it, God. We just pray, Lord, that you would just renew their perspective, give them a new mindset. We pray, Father, that you would just... Um, just give them a new desire within their heart, Lord, to be a blessing to people, Father God. And even just begin to change the language that they speak in, the way that they see themselves, Father. That they see themselves above and lifted high in mm. you, God. That they see themselves as an ambassador of Christ who never has to worry about their funds because you take care of them. We just pray right now, Father, that you would break off any curses, any word curse that they've spoken with the blood of Jesus. We pray, Lord, that it would just be renounced in the name of Jesus, Lord. In that you would just be the Lord over their finances like never before, oh God. That they may test you and see that when they sow, that when they give, it will be given back unto them, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. You said in Malachi, Lord, try me on this and see. We pray, Lord, that they would test you on it and see that you will open up a window yes, of heaven Lord. and pour them such a blessing that they don't have room enough to receive it, so much so that it will renew their confidence, that they will be a tither, that they will be a sower, that they will have no problem sowing alms to the poor, Father God, and they won't have no problem giving to people who are in need because they remember when they give unto your people, you give back to them. Hallelujah. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Jesus. So good. Ooh, Thank you, Jesus. Father God. Amen. Thank Amen. you, God. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So God good. is so good. Yes. God is so good. Yeah, yeah. God is so good. He's so good to me. Hey. hey. That felt like a uh what's that? You made that up? No. Okay, I'm saying <laughs> it feels like a uh African. He's so good and his mercy is forever. Hallelujah. There you go. Yep, I'm like, it feels like that. Yeah. Uh, 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 Lord, you're good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hey. hey. You are the, what is it? Most holy God. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, we just yeah. have y'all. <laughs> But he is good. He's so good. He's so good. Oh, Jehovah, hey, Jehovah, hey. Jehovah, 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 you are the most high God, Jehovah. You are the most high He is. You are the most high God. Come on. See what I'm saying? It'll pop you right in your vocal cord. <laughs> Not He's right. having a good time. Not right in the vocal cord. And then you add the, okay. See <laughs> people. People are crazy. You showing off, okay. People are crazy. You, you wanna, just try to worship. Then okay. <laughs> you just want to just want to worship your Lord and Savior. I just and then people want to praise. Hey, now she she sung that song. We're not gonna go again. I'm not, <laughs> and the, I must I must say on that one though, like I always love the ad lib. Me and Morgan, me and Morgan always talk about the ad libs. But she said, I don't don't get tired of that because the ad doesn't get tired of you. Like, not over, not over, not over. I'm like yes. Yes, Morat. Oh, Thank you, she, Jesus. That whole babe, that <laughs> Morat oh, Brown God, Clark God. is a vocal Cindy, it's so assassination. Oh. She, she, she assassinates the enemy with her vocals. Oh, she does. And she's like, sniper. Right. Every ad lib, everything. Oh, right. Like, oh, shoot, she going up. <laughs> yes, yes. One God, one name. Mm. <laughs> he was like, yes, Morat. Yeah, oh God, you're my mother, you're my and she's so under the radar. She is. She like she's like your best friend's mama. You can go over. Right, your mama's you, best friend. Warm meal and be like just comfortable. And she's like, like mm -hmm. where it come from? Mm -hmm. What? It sneak up on you. So you get to the end of the song. And you just like I, I, just, I thought I was coming in for just, you know, take my shoes off, got fuzzy socks and mm -hmm. I thought I was coming here for like a meal. Out of state the whole day. She's just like <laughs> I'm gone. We, right. Y'all. Y'all, this has been fantastic. This has been phenomenal. Thanks again. Thank you, Candice. Thank you, me. Y'all tell Candice, thank you. Y'all love Candice. Candice a gift. She's such a good. She's so good. I'm a nut, but I love y'all. She's a nut for Jesus. Oh, for Jesus. Karen said, I could get crazy for Jesus. Undignified praise. That part. That part. They don't understand. 
But I'm so happy, y'all. As I always say, don't get better because life does get better. With Jesus, life gets better. We're living witnesses. We're living proof. Things get better. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like us. We are so happy. We are so dignified. We're undignified for Jesus. It don't, really, it don't really matter what you call it. Unapologetically undignified. Unapologetically undignified now. 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 Unapologetically undignified. Yeah. Unapologetically undignified. In Christ undignified now. For In Christ, Christ now. now. Hey. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was good. That was good. For harmony's sake. I'm <laughs> be upset about you no more. You hear me? Oh my goodness. Whoo, y'all. I'm gonna have Candace on some more. We gonna have to do some more stuff. This is so good to myself for so many reasons. But have a great day. Have a great rest of your week. Whenever you watch this, if you made it to the end of this, praise God for you. There was something that you must have needed, yeah. and we're so happy that we were able to bless you and just to converse. Look at me, converse. Converse. Converse with you. Converse. Converse with you. With you. you thank know. you so much. Thank you so much, Mike. We appreciate you and all of your splendor and just for watching. We thank you so much and we'll be out on our way. So we'll talk soon and yeah. Talk soon, Tata. Talk to you later. Talk to Oh, oh come on, Tata. I to love you later. that. Talk to you later. We'll see you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh.